What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix FPS drops, frame drops or stutterings in City Skylines. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. I mean it's free for you and you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit. I'm gonna be really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So as the first step, I would recommend doing for everybody. Uh, I would recommend you to restart or start your uh, task manager by just using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do next is simply um, stick around processes so uh, navigate it to the top left corner and ensure that you're sticking around it uh, once you intrude it i want you to click onto cpu and uh what i want you to do is simple just ending every single task which has nothing to do with windows obviously and has is having too much cpu usage at the moment so um you're gonna right click those tasks and simply end them and the same thing for gpu so just click on gpu and do the same thing this is so basically the reason for that is if you have a low end pc or a bad pc running too many programs which are having too much cpu usage or gpu usage at the same time could cause uh these problems so just end them and once you ended them i want you to simply end also the task manager and the next next step is going to be no, uh, navigate to the left corner of the screen so the bottom left corner click on this window symbol and uh, click on the setting symbol and navigate right onto gaming where i want you to stick around xbox game bar and obviously turn it off because the xbox game bar doesn't really come with any benefits besides impacting your performance really bad and it could cause free uh, it could cause fps drops stuttering so just turn this off it won't really help you or you're just having any benefits just turn it off next step is going to be to click onto captures and stick around background recording go to record a new background while i'm playing a game and turn this off especially if this is turned on without you knowing that this will impact your performance really bad because everyone knows if you're recording something in the background this will impact your performance and especially on bad pcs and if you want to record something you're probably not going to use windows for that so either way just turn it off and come back once in a while in order to check if this is really turned off as the next step i want you to click into game mode and i can really tell you now to turn it off or on it just depends on your system specifically to just try it out and stick with the setting which is working better so once you're finished here i want you to go back once to the main menu of the settings and click onto update and security well i want you to stick around windows update uh, what I want you to do is going to sound a little basic guys, but just trust me, updating all of your drivers will help you a lot with like 99% of your technical issues which you're currently having. So just download the latest version of Windows just to ensure that you're providing the best possible performance for your PC and it will help you a lot. So just once you downloaded it, I want you to enter this task and do the same thing for your graphics card. So if you have uh, Nvidia or if you have AMD, it doesn't really matter. Just go to the application or the browser and download the latest version just to ensure that you're providing the best possible performance in general for your PC. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And I'm sorry, guys, if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I would just say, have a nice day. See you at the next one and bye.